the resultant of two vector p and q is given as r if q is double then the new resultant vector is perpendicular to p then r is equal to first let us make the diagram let us take it as p this as q and this as resultant now if q is double then the new resid is a uh, resultant vector is perpendicular to p so this is your p this is perpendicular r dash new resid new resultant and this is your 2 q this is your perpendicular now here we can also draw this and draw like this this will be your 2 q 2 as they are parallel and here it will be p this is your theta now we can uh, from here we can write that cos theta equals from this diagram cos theta equals base upon hypotenuse which is equals to t upon 2 q now this angle let us take this as theta dash as they both are parallel this angle will be equal to this angle the angle between here the angle between 2q and your p vector will be equal to this as they both are parallel this theta dash will be equal to 180 minus theta so as we know cos 180 minus theta is equals to minus cos theta so cos 180 minus theta equals to minus cos theta here cos theta is p upon 2q so minus p upon 2q will be your cos 180 minus theta this angle now we have to find r we know the value of cos 180 minus theta and this will be the same 180 minus theta as the angle between both of the vector remains same from question we can see that there is no change in angle between these two vectors so this angle is 180 minus theta 2 now from diagram 1 we can write that p square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta equals r square this is the formula of vector addition moving on p square plus q square plus 2 pq so here theta is 180 minus theta here and the value of it is minus p upon 2q So minus p upon 2q, which is equals to r square. Now, on calculating, p square plus q square minus p square equals r square. This and this, so r will be equal to q. Is your answer? Option two.